Hello guys, welcome back to our channel once again. My name is Adas and today we are going to learn trigger for delete SQL server. And here are the topics which we cover out in this video. Trigger for delete SQL server, delete for insert update, delete in SQL server, De trigger before delete in SQL server, trigger after delete in SQL server, and uh, trigger deleted table in SQL server. In the first topic, the trigger for delete in SQL server, as the definition says, the trigger the DMR trigger only activates this after the, all the actions described in the trigger SQL statements has successfully launched according to a SQL server for or after trigger. Before a trigger may be successful, all the differential cascades, choices, and the constraint checks must be approved. So, as a definition is saying that when we uh, activate a trigger in the uh, for the all the action in the SQL statement and it is launched successfully with the help of the for after trigger. The referential cache charge must be uh, checked and must be approved in order to make effort in the on the table. In the syntax, first we write the create trigger, your trigger name. The trigger name can be anything there like Mike, Michael Jordan and Obama, anything that depends upon your choice. On the your table name it first to the, the effort which you are making on the that table after and for the both trigger has the same effect the purpose of these are that when we are using with the dml statement first we do, uh, it uh, make effect and uh, it will be executed in the table after that the sql statement which are used inside it the create trigger statement will be used and uh, show the result set in the table so let's uh, see an example make it understandable before i show you an example if you want to see the all the triggers name which are inside the system then we write this select name from sys dot triggers if i use this one what will happen that it will show the list of the triggers which has been created before in the table but if you want to delete it you can use drop trigger trigger name for underscore delete we delete this uh, trigger from the that table permanently so let's need to create a trigger it's trigger and i use for delete on canada states for delete as select strict from canada says where state id equal to 25 and i use delete from canada states where state id is equal to 26 so once trigger has been fired the execution of the dml statement will happen and make effort on the table which means that the delete statement will delete the one record of the state id 26 of all the all the column and after that the select statement will be retrieve all the records from the table in the result set let's execute this part the 26 uh, record has been deleted out from the table i hope the concept has been cleared out for you before i move to the next topic i have a small humble request that uh, if if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe our channel if you are make, making this video helpful for you and it is making you understandable all all the topics please share to your friends let's move to the next topic so in the next topic i'm going to use the trigger for with the, all the dlm statement in the sql server so here's a syntax for this if you have some any confusion in the video please comment in the comment section and uh, if you want to make it how it is done please pause the video in the any before to watch it very properly and make it easy to for you to understand so let's move to the example of this topic first i will drop this trigger drop trigger for delete the trigger will be deleted out from that table see the trigger has been deleted and i will use for insert comma delete comma update update canada states i will set the full name as i will set full name as michael jordan where state id is equal to 28 and i will insert into canada values so like before i move to the cellar i need to check how many records are there inside the column 
How many columns are there inside the Canada series level? As we see, they have 46 records. Let's move to the 47 record and we set it in the Canada series level. Then I will use as a name as Rosemary. Then I will use the Canada state name as Yukon. And I put a zip code as some, just a random one inside it. So let's use this one again. As a huge tip, yeah, it has been. We delete out the state ID 26 from the table, which has been deleted. And I use 28 Angela Jolie will change to the Michael Jordan as a full name. With the help of the update statement, Michael Jordan. A new record will be inserted as the last record in the table, which you will see. 47 Rosemary Qcon. The state zip code is 55410 and the state that is 47. I have the concept has been cleared out for you. In the third topic says SQL Server before deleting a new SQL Server. So, as a next topic says trigger before deleting a SQL Server. So, uh, let's make you a reminder that there is oh, no certain trigger name as before in the SQL Server. Now we show you example when there is a new version updated that there is no uh, trigger name the as before. Apart from that we can use the in instead of trigger with the, all the DLM statement in the SQL Server. What is the main use of before or the in instead of delete statement is that in instead of uh, trigger will be delete will skip the effect part of the of the statement in the table. But execution will be done out. But it, it will show the effect and the retrieve part of the SQL statement on the table, which we are using inside the table, inside the SQL server. So let's move to the example part of it. So let's do this trigger once more again. As the trigger has been removed, I'm going to create once again the same trigger. The create trigger statement. Let's execute this one. So what will happen that when you execute the delete statement, the execution will be done out, but it ha it will not delete the state ID 29 and other records from all the column of the Canada state table. But if it will, the execution will be done, and only the select statement which are used inside the as loss will be done. And we show the effect on the table. The 29 has will not be deleted, but it shows the select statement. Retrieve all the records from the state, Canada State Skull based on the where conditions. I hope the concept has been cleared out. So now let's move to the next topic. In the last topic uh, will be discuss the trigger deleted table in SQL Server. The main purpose of deleted table is that when, I, when we use the delete statement to delete one record from the table, all the multiple records from the table. So what will happen that all the records which has been deleted out it will show and will be available on the deleted table or as an added value or added column in the deleted table so let's uh, move to the example create trigger i will use for the deleted table then i will use for right as trigger name was deleted on canada states for select where state id Greater than equal to for the US states, state is greater than equal to 50. So if I delete the record from US states, I need to put as the deleted record and I will change over here the order by state ID and delete from Canada states where state ID, state ID, I will put the value between 16. 18. So what will happen that all the records which has been deleted will be 16 and 18 will be shown in the deleted table. Let's take a this part. The records which has been deleted 16 and the 17. 17 was not there in the my view, not there in the US state table. So it has been uh, shown in the deleted table. And these are the records from it. I hope that the concept has been clear out for you. It was the last topic. There are also more wonderful videos on the other programming language like Python, machine learning, blockchain and other databases. We have written a detailed article on this topic. The link is in the description box. You can copy the script from there. With this we have completed tutorial on trigger or delete in SQL Server. If this video was helpful, click on the like button. Also subscribe to our channel for more video like this one.
Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Take care.